Today we're taking a look at Froment Sign, which is a test you would use for the ulnar nerve by way of checking the strength of the adductor pollicis muscle. So if this muscle is really weak, that may give you some indication that the ulnar nerve is entrapped, compressed, or injured somehow and requires further investigation. So how to perform the test? Well, first off, you need a piece of paper or an envelope. You're then gonna ask the patient to hold the piece of paper between their index finger and their thumb, like so. You, the practitioner, are gonna to begin to pull the piece of paper while closely monitoring the IP joint of the thumb. This is where the magic happens, and this is what we're looking at. And it can be subtle, so keep an eye on it. So you're pulling, pulling, pulling. If you see that IP joint flex, that would be considered a positive Froman's sign. So what that's telling you is that the adductor pollicis muscle is too weak to hold the piece of paper through adduction alone. So the patient is recruiting the help of the flexor pollicis longus, uh, which is innervated by the median nerve instead of the ulnar nerve. So if the median nerve is okay, they're gonna use that flexor pollicis longus instead, and they can try to hold onto that piece of paper a little bit better. So basically, if you see this flexion of the IP joint, that's a positive Froman sign, and that's telling you that the adductor pollicis muscle is weak, and something may be wrong with the ulnar nerve itself, requiring further investigation. All right, so I do have some tips for you guys to help you remember the test position and the muscles and nerves involved. I know it can get stressful during the practical, but this should help you out. So instead of Froment, what I think about is for mints. And am I, am I butchering this guy's name for my own gain? Absolutely. And you should too. So think about Froment to for mint. And the reason I think about that is if I was, if I asked someone for some mint gum, this is how they give it to me. And this is how I would grab it basically. Okay. Stereotypical gum grabbing position, but this is basically the uh, Froment sign test. So I think of that for mint Mint gum coming out, I'm grabbing it. Now we're in that Froman sign test. That's how I remember the perfect hand position for this test. Well, what about the muscle involved? What about the nerve? Well, I, I stick with that minty, minty theme there. And personally, what would be the dream character that I would buy mint gum from? Who's my number one character I'd wanna buy mint gum from? Well, obviously, of course, Apu from The Simpsons. So I think of Apu, I think of adductor pollicis and the ulnar nerve. So that's help you remember the main muscle involved, and of course the nerve we're looking at for this test. That covers Froman's sign. As always, if you need some good luck vibes for the next test, just leave a comment below and I'll always hit you back. Thanks for watching, and of course, good luck on your next test.